So we're going to do some more inflation mode. The last time I did it, I did chimps mode. A lot of people seem to want to suggest a boss though. How would that turn out? Well, we're going to find out. Elite Lunaris X inflation mode. So just for a quick refresher of what inflation mode is. Basically, towers get 3% more expensive every round. Think of it as inflation. But on top of that, the income things make is also 2.8 times. Towers also shoot 2% slower and the ability cooldowns are 2% longer to account for uh, depreciation of your assets. And that's basically it. It's tough game mode. We'll use our free Dart Monkey to get Benjamin down for round two. I think he would be the play because he doesn't get affected by, I guess, attack speed decrease. Obviously, again, his income will lag behind, but nothing I can do. Yeah, you should see at the end of the round here. Wait, still 150. Hmm. Maybe he's not affected by inflation. That's bad. Yeah, this should be going up more than 150 per round because... Obviously, 2.8 should make a difference, but it is not. You'll see that farms make a difference, though. They normally $20, but you see $22 now. All right, we need more help. Let's go boomerang. It'll be funny to see how expensive the Paragons get by the end of the game. I don't recall, it was like at least 10 times more expensive by around 100. And like, we're going to 120 here because of five tiers, so we're talking like... We'll probably need 5 million for the cheapest Paragon. I mean, Ben is a bit more efficient than a base farms early game, so... It's not the worst thing in the world. It's just more like, even around 2030, he'll start making, like, peanuts. I forgot to mention that in uh, Inflation, the sell cost also decreases per round. This wasn't a thing in Chimps mode, because obviously I couldn't sell. But you'll notice at the end, end of rounds like this, for example, it's going down $40, so it's ideal not to sell any farms at all. Ben Trojan is also going to steal money. All right, I forgot about that. As if things couldn't get any worse for Ben. I'll do a third boomerang for the green tier. Yeah, sure. On the bright side, Ben can regain some life, so I'm okay with leaking a little bit here. Also, I could have gone Geraldo, but I'm pretty sure his shop items are cheesed because they don't increase in price. Okay, I am dying to round 21. I think I need to get a 030 Druid or a 130. Don't I? Yeah, it's probably the best early game I have. Actually, you're right. I shouldn't be going for marketplaces because I'm not selling them after. I might as well just be going for top hats, eh? Well, I already messed up a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Think of it as trying to gain a one life back per round from the early game, early game I lost earlier. I also wonder if it's worth going for a balloon trap for these rounds. I presume that will also make extra money. And right, I don't think it's affected by maybe the attack speed decrease of towers in general. You know what, I think I'll go for a, a Balloon Trap. Our farming so far in the first three runs seems pretty similar to bosses. In fact, it's even better because we have easy mode prices. Also, again, I know bad synergy, a Druid, and Trap, but, uh, leave me be. So, how much is each Trap making? 2,800, yeah, it's increased. So, our income is about almost three times at this point. But you see the prices, they're getting more and more expensive. Hey, I can actually buy a BRF. Why do I feel a lot richer this game than I should? So, this is not a rank boss, so I can just do the normal setup. Don't mind me just getting a Sticky Bomb worth uh, $20,000. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to just go for a Sticky Bomb and maybe an Elk buffed more glaives. That's basically all my, all my money, for now at least. Apparently, since Recursive got nerfed, Ring of Fire is actually be, might be more efficient, like, in terms of bloom popping, than that. So, I'm going to try. This should be enough to handle... Uh, even that comes out of Blunaris. I'll also buy this in advance, because I'm going to need to sell the towers for... Yeah, I, I still want to sell the towers, even if they are, uh, well, reduced in value. Because obviously I don't need them for the next 20 rounds. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but the boat is making more money. So I, I figure it's the... Uh, anything that makes end around cash does not get increased in this game mode. So avoid Wall Street at all costs. I guess on that note, avoid boat farming as well, which I would have done if... So it's worked. Let's go for our third BRF while we're just chilling. Again, farming seems uh, about similar as before. Yeah, all we need is an extra three hundred thousand dollars for the uh, Banana Central. Now it's fine though. Usually in bosses, you don't get that until round sixty. So again, it should be interesting to see if, like, how far are we on pace compared to normal boss runs? And that was a lot more simple than I thought. That's good to see. I actually might keep some of the towers, like the Sticky Bomb. Just for mob damage. Yeah, I think if anything, I'll just sell the Ring of Fire. Get the money while I can for it. Before it depreciates the value too much. 
I think we're making money fast enough that I can actually buy this before tier 2 comes in. So I might have just been able to accelerate. It may look easy now, but I don't know. We'll see just how crippled I am later on, like by around 100, around 120. But yeah, B Central around 56. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, it's way ahead of schedule. I kind of want to try an Avatar Wrath of this one. 218,000 though. I don't, I don't have enough money to afford. How about Tax Zone? 97. Also, because I can't buy Avatar Wrath... I'm going to play rounds out and then buy it. Because I don't want it to uh, decay and you know attack speed, you know. Actually, I'll go for it now. I think I have enough to buy it straight up. Cool. Jungle drums. Uh, top buff tier four. And I'll slowly build five stacks. I think I need to put this on first though, because remember my boomerang since I got it so long ago? It's shooting like half speed. It's like barely reliable enough to hold off right now. Also, yes, it is worth it to overclock the uh, banana farm. But the problem is, with the banana farm, or at least with the overclock, remember the cooldowns get slower and slower, so I think I actually just need to keep selling the overclocks once they become too slow, if that makes sense. There is five stacks. I think I'll stop here. We don't need to overclock the AOW. I'll just take my time here, I guess. Yeah, again, this will be a pretty trivial tier two. Well, I need time to spare. Now, do I sell the AOW? I guess so, right? Yeah, I'll get the money for it while I can, and I'll rush an Ultra Boost. I'll get a new one to Ultra Boost so that I don't have the decayed attack speed from the overclock previously. I'm not sure what the plan for tier 3 is, but I do want to get a plane at some point to a crew pops to the Ace Paragon. That's what I'm looking at, although I don't know if the Ace Paragon is something I should get. Because remember, it's going to be so expensive. But I, I feel like I'm making enough money that I can go for it, right? Actually, just out of curiosity, how much is the Ace Paragon at the moment? Okay, 5.7 million. Let me do some quick maths here. So, uh, by round 120, towers are 34 times stronger. And you'll make 27 times more money. So that's actually not much of a difference. In terms of, like, money to... Uh, money to cost ratio. It's only, like, 25% more expensive, actually. But again, this is not taking into account that the money you're making for this round is going to keep depreciating. It's just for that current round. It'll be uh, approximately 25% less. Cash spend is only one factor in Paragon Degree. In which case, I will get like an easy uh, 10,000 power from that. It's 250 of other other upgrades. The majority of the Paragon's Degree, though, comes in the form of Pops. Speaking of which, I think next round... Do I have space for an Ace? Uh, all the way in the corner I do, yeah, sure. I'll just get a... Uh, yeah, I'll just buy a Flying Fortress right now. I'm pretty much maxed out in farm space, minus the... Uh, you know, the good real estate for towers attacking. Okay, I guess I'll freeze the water too for more farms while I have the time. Also, it's a good idea to not, yeah. I'm not going to upgrade this one to Ace Paragon. It'll need to be like a tier 5 that I dropped last minute. So that that one doesn't get weakened. Oh yeah, NG would be great too. Because, right, the pops, or the money you make from the NG counts towards AK pops for a higher degree. Do I want to get both? I mean, I guess while I have 1.9 million dollars, sure. This is, I guess, just in case maybe I can't afford Ace Paragon, or I need more than Ace Paragon, then I have options now. How much is a Dark Paragon? Can I do a Makeshift Paragon for this tier, or no? I cannot. Actually, hang on. Temple actually might be interesting, or rather cheaper than usual, because the sacrifices don't increase in inflation here, so I only need 50k, no matter what, right? So I only need to worry about the 877 here. Let's do Clue Strike, for example, yeah. 50k right there. I think max tier 4 and then get strong towers around it is probably the play, so I'll get back Avatar Wrath and Mad, I guess. I think we'll play the round because I don't have enough money right now. Let's get the fifth pop lust. Let's try to squeeze an out buff in here somewhere like this. Uh, I'll get a Mad, right? Yeah. There we go. Just a casual $700,000 Mad. Don't forget the mini sign after response too, or put it in work. And it'll be even better. If I go for a super brittle, which can't fit, fine, I'll just do... I'll do a cripple mope then. Okay, I found a spot for a, a, an Esprit. Wait, can someone tell me why I don't have... I'm not getting any round cash from the temple? Or or am I still? They should be making money, right? Wait, I thought I had temple buffs. What's going on? Oh, there is a bug. Yeah, yeah hang on. No icon, no damage. I thought. I swear I saw it, some mini sun avatars, but... Yeah, they're gone. Well, that's a bit of an unfortunate bug. I still think we have enough damage, though. Right? I'm not distributing when they were, well, I saw their avatars before. 
Well, this kind of ruins everything. Also, how's my uh, big trap doing? A quarter of a million uh, money. That translates to 1 million pops and then add 300k. Okay, so I definitely need a Dark Paragon for around 100. In fact, I can probably afford it right now, right? Yes, I have double the amount of money required. So that is a good sign. How much is Ace Paragon? 11. I'm actually pretty close. You know what? Before I lose too much money, I should have sold this way long, way long ago. I think I lost 100k. Not selling this before, but there we go. It is finally gone. I might be feeling a bit of the brunt of the reduced attack speed of the towers. These towers have been down for like, what, 15 rounds? We still have four rounds, but still, this took a lot longer than I expected, but that makes sense. Again, if not for that meddling temple bug. Alright, we're mad ability, and there we go. You can finally relax. So, I still don't want to go for an Ace Paragon for tier 4. So, let me just fulfill the $250,000 requirement, which would literally just be two fan clubs. And there's my extra 10k power. Alright, this should be over degree 40, or not. Only 34. I'm just gonna play, and... I'm pretty sure this is enough. Yeah, this is enough for sure. Already one quarter of the HP down, so it's good to know that bear Paragons, at least, aren't the ones that are bugged. All I can say is that this is a 9-day difference from the Chimps run. Because if you have something you can invest your money in, then the inflation just seems, uh... doesn't feel as bad. And there's tier 4. I'll go ahead and sell this, just for the purposes of... getting more pops. Okay, 1.1 million from the Engineer Monkey. We're looking at an effective pops of... Uh, 5 million, if you times for the money. 8.6. So, I actually... I actually kind of want to try an NG Paragon first. Before an Ace, which I can afford both of, I think. Actually, I guess there is some merit to getting the NG early, so that it gets the attack speed. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, that, out, that offsets the 2% that you lose. That's fine, though. I'll still wait after this round. I'm also kind of curious that since the... Uh, Engineer spawn sentries. Uh, do those sentries spawn Yeah, laser attack speed too? I would say no, because I'm pretty sure the uh, cooldowns of the uh, sentries would also be affected. So as you see, 18 million on the Master Builder. And literally just one overclock. And I'm already at the 250k requirement. I'll still do a little more though. Uh, that's good enough, I think. Degree... Uh, what is it? 58. Very nice. Oh, I also just realized that the cell cost is capped at 10 million, so... Yeah, it's definitely not ideal to sell any tower that costs this much. And Ace Paragon is uh, actually not affordable. I'm a million dollars short. Well, let me just play. Honestly, I might be able to solo with the NG being this high degree. So let me just chill for now. I'll also sell the Esprit. Replace it so that this thing shoots at normal speed. Uh, DTZ are scary as heck. What the hell? Okay, let me just get a quick Bloom Crush back here. Just in case anything gets far. That just cost me almost a million dollars, two million dollars. So, uh, I'm even further off of uh, Ace Paragon now. And also, we're not popping this anywhere near fast enough, so NG Paragon is not it. At least solo. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is way too sketchy. I'm going for uh, uh, glue. Yeah, and I know getting Ace Paragon from the jump probably would have been way easier, but I want to get the NG. I want to see it in action. I'm pretty sure Ace Paragon's the only Paragon that can, like, solo a Tier 5 Elite of any boss. Well, maybe the low HP boss also. I don't know how DJ's living by two stunning towers. Do I need... I need an Impale, don't I? I don't think I'm making money from the farms fast enough to catch up with the Doomship. Well, I am, slowly, but I keep buying stuff that I need to get to defend DDTs. Okay, let me just sell one of these now. I think it's time. There. There's Doomship. What degree was that? 48. Nice. Nice. I think I got it in time to be able to survive this. I also forgot to do this. I need to buy a new Kurama Web, but that one's shooting way too slowly. I had that drop like 40 rounds ago. Okay, how much is uh, another Paragon? Cheapest Paragon? 13 million? Yeah, it's kind of funny at this point. Doomship is already past the Engineer Paragon of Ops. Even though we got it like Six rounds later. Yeah, hold off on the new Paragon. I don't think I need to get one. Ace Paragon is... Again, pretty cracked. Do you know that this Paragon's already lost 20% of its attack speed? After 12 rounds. But even then... It is still very strong. That is the last year, so I just gotta beat these F-Pads here. And... Nice. We have Deflated Balloon Aries. Elite Balloon Aries. On Inflation Mode. 
Again, not as hellish because I was able to invest the money I was getting in farms. And that allowed me to save up uh, $30 million for the Goliath Doomship. Yeah, look at that cash generate. $90 million. That's what our money will look like in 120 years. I like to think of each round here as like one year's past. Quick pop count check. $34 million. And 20 mil on the NG. 